Put it on your calendar as ExxonMobil at the Crossroads, our detailed documentary, deep dive into ExxonMobil, the company with exclusive access, but also into the larger questions about getting to carbon neutral by 2050 and so many other things, Carl, that we'll be dealing with. We can't wait. Uh, hurry up and get that thing done so we can all watch uh, coming up next month. At the big board this morning, How Met Aerospace, marking its 2022 Aerospace Technology Day at the NASDAQ. It is Mankind, a biopharma focused on treating diabetes and lung diseases. David, we do have this downgrade out of SockGen of Chevron. Um, Raising their oil and gas price scenario, uh, but arguing that uh, the outperformance of Chevron is a little bit uh, overdone. They go to hold. Yeah. Uh, well, we all know. Listen, Chevron shares up 44 percent. Exxon, which I just mentioned, up some 51 percent this year. And the differential in market caps, not that great between the two, our two largest uh, uh, companies here. I, I don't know, Mike. Uh, you know, the uh, energy was 2 percent of the S&P coming into this year. Uh, that has changed, but going from 2 to 4% is still not yes. an enormous change given historically what it's been. It's not at all. Um, it, it's hard to argue that in aggregate energy has overshot in terms of its importance to the economy and all the rest. Also, you haven't seen um, a lot of heavy inflows into you know, energy-specific ETFs. It's not necessarily the buzzy retail trade, even though there's a lot, of, a lot more interest. So you know, I think if you're a very long-term kind of structural thinker, I think people have found it very easy to own these stocks because you just look at the futures curve for oil, even if the prices are coming down and, and gas, uh, it's still very profitable for them. So it's been an easy one for now. What is interesting, though, is the magnitude of outperformance by energy to everything else just in itself maybe creates a little bit of a, of a gravitational pull in the sense that, you know, is everything going to remain immune to the, you know, to, to, to the, bear, uh, yeah. the bear phase? Uh, this spoke this morning says there's an 80 percentage point spread between yeah. consumer discretionary and energy yeah. year to date. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.